Welcome to Know It All, a place to connect with researchers to answer all questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more. This episode on how can I reduce my carbon footprint was created for you by Naira. In this topic, Know It All will answer. What are some tips on how to decrease your carbon footprint? How can I calculate my carbon footprint? The carbon footprint is the total amount of greenhouse gas emissions that are produced as a result of an individual's activities. Reducing this number can help to reduce global warming and climate change, making it important for everyone to take steps toward reducing their own carbon footprints. Here are some tips on how you can do your part in decreasing yours. 1. Reduce your energy usage. One way to decrease your carbon footprint is by using energy more efficiently at home or work. Take small steps such as turning off lights when not needed, unplugging electronic devices when they're not being used, taking shorter showers and washing clothes with cold water instead of hot all add up over time. Investing in LED light bulbs and appliances rated Energy Star will also help save money while cutting back on electricity usage. 2. Buy sustainable products. Another great way to shrink your environmental impact is investing in responsibly made products whenever possible. This means buying items like organic foods from responsible farmers who use sustainable practices, purchasing clothing made out of eco-friendly materials such as bamboo or hemp, opting for recycled paper towels versus regular ones etc. All these choices have little impacts but yield big rewards over time. Plus, there's always second-hand shopping options where you get quality goods without having them come fresh off production lines, saving resources. 3. Limit Meat Intake The livestock industry produces large amounts of methane which contributes heavily towards our planet's rising CO2 levels, so eating less meat helps reduce overall demand. This results in fewer environmentally damaging farms being created worldwide each year too. On top of this, smaller diets leave us feeling healthier inside and out, while also giving us greater control over what we put into our bodies every day, leading to much happier lives overall. 4. Travel smarter and responsibly Traveling via plane isn't good for the planet, not to mention expensive. If you want to travel, start by exploring your own neighborhood, there could be plenty of local sites to see right around the corner anyway. Try to use public transport whenever possible, rather than using a gas-guzzling car, or to rent bikes or walk wherever feasible. As the world faces an ever-increasing climate crisis, it is more important than ever to understand our personal carbon footprint, and what we can do to reduce it. A carbon footprint describes the total amount of greenhouse gases, GHGs, such as carbon dioxide, that are emitted by activities related to a particular individual or organization in a given period of time. Calculating your own personal contribution towards global warming does not have to be complicated, there are many simple tools available today which allow you to calculate this with ease. The first step when calculating your carbon footprint involves understanding how much energy you use on a daily basis at home and work. You need to consider how you burn fossil fuels directly, by using coal or oil for electricity production or transportation, and indirectly, through purchasing goods produced using non-renewable resources, like buying food grown in faraway places. Many online calculators will ask questions about these activities so they can determine exactly how much GHG emissions result from them annually. You should try completing one yourself if possible, most provide helpful tips along the way too. Once complete, consider any other contributions being made outside of everyday life such as flying frequently for business purposes or taking long car trips during holiday seasons. Some sites give users options based on the type and frequency of the activity undertaken. For instance, if travel was selected, then the calculator may offer additional information including estimated CO2 emission values associated with each vehicle option taken into consideration before finally selecting the best mode of transport that's necessary to meet your needs without contributing significantly higher levels of harmful gases to the atmosphere. After all answers have been collected and analyzed, the user will be presented with a final calculation summarizing the average annual output of carbon emissions generated by your lifestyle choices. Thank you for listening. For more answers to questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more, don't forget to subscribe to Know It All.